Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of estimating fractional sums and differences. This is standard 4.3F in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 21 off the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Greg sorted his collection of baseball cards, and he's going to do a few things here. So he's going to give one-fifth to his brother, and he's going to sell four-tenths to a card shop, and then we need to find the true statement. So both of these statements here, they both talk about taking away. So we're actually going to subtract on both of those. Here's the problem, though. You cannot add or subtract unless you have common denominators. And that's not something we really do in fourth grade. It's fifth grade when we start adding and subtracting with unlike denominators. But we don't really need to know the exact amount that he's got left or the exact amount that he gives away because we're just going to estimate. Because if you take a look at our answer selections, we have exactly, more than, less than, and more than. So that's all we need to know is Besides A, it's just going to be more than or less than. So estimation is going to work fine for us. So let's see if we can figure out what exactly this is going to look like. Let's put in a strip diagram first just so we can visualize. So I'm going to do this. And I'm going to say these are all of his cards. So that's his total up there. He's got all of his cards up there. He's going to uh, give one-fifth to his brother. I'll put a B right there. He's going to sell four-tenths. That's going to go to the card shop. That's a C. And then, who knows, whatever that is, that's the leftover. That's what he has left. And uh, we don't even know how many cards he starts with. It doesn't really matter how much he starts with. So let's see if we estimate here. What we could do is we can find some fractions that are close. So one-fifth, if I wanted to change my one-fifth. So let me see if I can draw one-fifth right here. So here's about one-fifth. And one-fifth, that really doesn't help us, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can shift that. It's about one-fourth. It's not exactly the same as you can see. One-fourth is a little bit bigger, but I'm going to say one-fifth is close to one-fourth. And one-fourth is a little bit easier for us to work with. We're going to do the same thing with this four-tenths here. We're going to say our four-tenths, I don't need to draw a picture for that because we can just kind of actually keep it as the same denominator. We can say one four-tenths is close to five-tenths. Now why would I want to get to five-tenths? Well, 5 tenths is actually going to be helpful. Let me actually draw 5 tenths to see what we're about to do with that. So 5 tenths, if you shade it in, is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Guess what that is? That's a half. So 4 tenths is close to 5 tenths, and 5 tenths is also just an equivalent fraction for 1 half. So look at our fractions now. We're close to one-fourth and one-half. And so let me see if I can redo these. So I'm going to say my bro gets about one-fourth. And you know what? One-fourth, one-half is also the same as two-fourths. I'm going to change these to two-fourths. So now look what I've got here. One-fourth and two-fourth, that's the brother, that's the card shop, which means my leftover is probably about a fourth. So that's going to help us. So Greg will have exactly half of his collection left. Nope, he's going to have about a fourth. He will sell more than half his collection to a card shop. He sold a little bit less. He sold four tenths, a little bit less than five tenths. He will have less than half his collection left. Yes, he's going to have about a fourth of his collection left. He will give more than half to his brother. No, one fourth is definitely less than a half. So our answer here is C.